Oh my God. Now y'all see why the mental house is so important. Yanni, you was right. Um, you know, I try not to be too hard on people. Um, and it's not so much, well, I should say this. I, I, I try not to be so hard on people that I know are parents. Because when you think about it, especially if you have teenagers and uh, people that are kids that are in the peer pressure age, um, you try to spare their feelings. And the first thing I think about is, do they have any children? Because they're basically in a hostage situation. No matter how stupid we act as parents, they can't do nothing but deal with it. They have to go along with us. Even if they disagree with us, even if they think my mom is the craziest, there's nothing really they can do until they get to be an adult themselves. And then they tell you, I realized that you and daddy was batshit crazy, right? That is usually what happens. And um, I was having that discussion with uh, one of the subscribers. And she was like, this is narcissism. So, And I was like, yeah, I know. I know. Because who would get up there and, as a parent, knowing somebody's a parent, somebody give you an opportunity to stop doing what you're doing and your arrogance and your pompousness and your personality disorder, at this point, it don't really matter what it is. It's some kind of high conflict of uh, personality that you really need to come on into the mental house. Tasha, I have mercy on you because I thought about it. Out of all of the YouTube uh, content creators, uh, about five years ago, I reached out to you. And uh, you was the only person that reached back out to me, actually. And I thought about that. And so I guess in my mind, I thought that because you had that much compassion, that you would use that same compassion for yourself and for your children. Boy, was I wrong. I'm not going to clown you too bad because like I told my, like I told Sean, Yanni, and I think I told... Uh, mad hat doctor and somebody else that made a comment about you. I said, you know, I come from the town of Jeffrey Dahmer. And you want to know what that got to do with it? If the sun could shine on his ass, and when he walked out the door, wasn't no dark cloud following behind him, going, this the motherfucker that's out here eating your brothers and your relatives and your friends? And I had to have some compassion for Tasha K. And I still do because I see mental illness written all over this shit. I'm going to back off of this. And I want you to know I'm, I'm giving you advice as a bit auntie. Don't piss on people's legs and try to tell them that it's raining. Please don't insult people that way. Don't do that. Please don't do that because now you're going to run everybody that is in your corner away from you. I want you to be blessed. I want you to regroup. I want you to take responsibility for what you did. And if you don't, please don't come back up here insulting people about how your act of the community and your freedom of speech and all that bullshit. Don't, don't do that. Because now you're looking pure crazy out here in these damn YouTube streets. Good night. Don't do them kids like that.